before. I guess it's either that or the top of the tree is a castle. It's a castle tree. It's a castle tree, but it was built by small children. Just little spikes are not that important. Hey, folks, I'm Serious JG. <laughs> and I'm Zerfall. And uh, this is Let's Play Super Shell Monster Story, and we've rescued the village of the Ultimate Warrior guys. Who kind yes, of... they're. Go ahead. Their tree was was very sad, and now it's not so sad anymore. It's all thank you. We are so grateful. Yeah, and we got some crappy item. We don't even remember what it was. But um, yeah. <laughs> it was an optional quest that we kind of fulfilled just by playing the main story. So how big of a reward were we really expecting to get? Mm -hmm. I wonder if we were. Did we check this shop to make sure we couldn't get some awesome ass weapons for a ninja dude? Claw hammer. Bastard sword is slightly better than what the Avatar currently has. Yeah, that's right. We were, but we thought it was super expensive for how much of an improvement it was. That's true. Two thousand is a lot of money in this game when it costs you ten thousand to buy a home. A house. It's like for one fifth of the cost of a house, you can buy this sword. Yeah, you expect a bigger improvement than what they are uh, giving you. Gotta find some clothes for a wolf man. I mean, the real reason he's dying so easy because he's naked. He's naked. Well, apparently, we got the two characters who both need the same rare armor, is the only thing they're allowed to wear. Because we were bemoaning at the end of the last video that we've got a boat and we can go out and explore the water, but stuff is one killing our wolf man. Well, one hitting, I should say. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's supposed to be our tank, and now it's just, now it's just a, a bit of a glass cannon. Armored car. No time at all before we get into a battle. Fantastic. Oh, wow, look at these things. These are... This looks like some of the crazy-ass bosses from Eternal Felina. Not bosses, but, like, for Eternal Felina was full of enemies where I couldn't even tell what they were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the impression <laughs> I'm getting of these guys. They're... They look oddly kelpish. Well, it's not that odd. They're kelp heads, so... It's not odd that they look like kelp, I suppose. Okay, so that went well. As long as we kill all enemies before they get off an attack, we should be fine. I kind of like the fact that we have this weird shell-themed boat. It goes along with the rest of the game, I suppose. Oh, it certainly does. These... That is that like a mer nautilus, a hell drummer. Yeah, that makes sense. I suppose it looks like he's got. It looks like he's got a shell, but he's got like a. It, it, the tail looks like some kind of merman, but it also looks like he's got like. I don't know if you've ever been in like a a big cathedral, but he's got, like, uh, pipe organ pipes. <laughs> Sticking out his back. back. Yeah. <laughs> Expect him to start playing some hymns. Or, uh, start trying to destroy Spira. <laughs> we, we just finally finished that series today. Well, I mean, I, I still maintain that I'm gonna go back and do another run-through of it at some point, but man, you gave us... As a huge fan of Final Fantasy X, that game was such a disappointment. I, I guess I enjoyed playing through it, but I was like, at the end of this, like, yeah, wow, not even, not even, <laughs> good game. Not even, not even Doom music could have saved this. Damn. The big scary monster at the end is a. Um... Oh wow, we can't get out of here. Hmm. Because that's deep water. I thought the whole point was that we could use this to. Well, well, apparently not in that direction. There is... I should really get the uh, stamps up. By the way, the big enemy was a um, pipe organ slash elephant. So there's Lamiel, and we've been here before at full show. Yeah, yeah, our town is spick and span again. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess the, the town looks different. Maybe we were meant to return here. Did we find the stamp here? I don't think we did. I don't think we did either, so fall. let's find it. Do you remember uh, the old lady's house? If we can find that, I'm pretty sure it's where you uh, once picked up a little poo. No, that's not here. This building's still all crushed up. <laughs> we fixed the exteriors, but not the upstairs. This is the first time I've laid eye on strangers as kind as you people. If the monster's wrecked the town again, I'm definitely going to beat him up. Oh boy, the youngsters in this town have displayed incredible initiative. The city is back on its feet just the way it used to be. Well, there you go. See, there's uh, some some progress happening in the world. 
the way we like, the way we used to be, smoking and racing on TV. That's the book. Have you toured the new town of Ramil? It's all thanks to you. That you've toured it for heaven. Being a fisherman from Marley, Lemiel is bigger than what I expected. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. That Lemiel was bigger. Being a fisherman from Marley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't expect such a quick turnabout would lead to this joyous outcome. Oh, it's like Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh, I didn't expect. I thought about moving here because I heard that Lemiel had been restored. Morley was a good fishing village. Well, I can't work on a hillside. Give Wait, does this mean that if we go to Marnley at some point, it's just going to be like devoid of people? Everyone left? Could be. Maybe that. Well, there's some kind of uh, helper we're, I thought we were going to get at Marnley, but I guess we need to return later in the plot. Phew. My heart is calm only when I commune with nature. If you catch my drift. I don't allow my true femininity to come out, even though I'm a man. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to my inn. I charge ten pearls a night. But I need to crank up the price now that our town is in a shithole. <laughs> Welcome to my Welcome business. my businesses. <laughs> I own all of the businesses. I thought the story was that he had to move into the inn because his shop was destroyed. Apparently when they restored the town, they forgot to uh, <laughs> build the item shop. Oh man, it's all arm wars. I wanted to get some freaking clothes. Is there any armor that works for... What's his name? Well, that's Garu? We, we haven't been able to find anything good for Garu since we gave his karate gi over to... Um, mm. I think it's that he has to wear very flexible clothing so when he flexes his muscles, people see them. I think it's so that if he transforms into a werewolf... Well, no, he's always... He's always, he's always a werewolf. <laughs> okay, I got you. He has to... He, has to um, he can choose all different camo patterns or he can go with the traditional sneaking suit because he's pretty clearly big boss. Thanks to you kind souls, the town has returned to normal really quickly. You have my deepest gratitude. I don't know how to say thank you. Including you, assassin, who was not part of the party the last time you guys went through here. He's a ninja warrior. <laughs> this little boy red. When I'm as strong as you, big bro, I'll start to whip those monsters. Okay, chum, you get stronger and you're gonna have a match with me on the great Garu. Man, we're gonna have ourselves a time. Oh, that was really sweet. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming he's saying that playfully and he's not intending to, like, maul this kid, but... <laughs> he actually just uh, imprinted on them. Okay, well, that was the exact same It's, the same, it's the same old man, he's just going house to house. <laughs> It's like, I really want to make sure I catch you guys and let you know how grateful I am. It's actually, he's actually collecting several uh, social insurance checks <laughs> under different names. All the old people are dead, but I'm still getting their money. Thank you, kind souls. Oh, I'm going to be rich. Scamming the government. Venerable Great Gnome is quite old, but he's still kicking. Great Gnome and his royal majesty in Dorado City are said to be really tight. Tiggity tight, you might say. So it's probably going to be the very last house we <laughs> find in town. But I guess so it's... I feel like listening to that guy, so... Oh, hey, this is Jack Plants. Well, believe it or not... Now I feel lonely without the old fella around. He. <laughs> Jack Plants. Right? Jack Plants, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome him back. Hey, this is probably it. Did you hear the town of Sandori? What? Bleh. Ooh, I lost it there. Did you hear the town of Sandora has also experienced a horrible battle? Did you hear about the lonesome loser? Lose into the Queen of Hearts every time. We still haven't received word from Dorado City. Everyone is quite worried. Hey, it's the poo is this the poo room? This is the poo room. You see, there's a pot there that had poo in it before. Hey, and there's a pot that has 
A stamp card. Garuna okay, stamps with seven locations. <laughs> what the hell is fair? Okay, I think this is what she already said. Yep. And I accidentally talked to her. Alright, so it was nice that we came back here, but I don't know that there was a plot reason for us to do so. It's always kind of cool if you return to a city the plot doesn't require you to return to when they start a building. Mm hmm. I'm being really impressed by that. Well, oh, actually, we should, we should grab Warple for a second, and we should head to Britannia and see, because they've been rebuilding that town. I wonder if they're, uh. It's over Britannia. Is it. Yeah, because we named it Britannia thinking we'd get to build it, and then we didn't, really. We thought it was our town, but it turns out it wasn't my town. Oh, and they have rebuilt it. Hey, look at this. This is crazy. Look at this town. This town is awesome. <laughs> I want to come live in this town. This is way better than our town. <laughs> oh, no kidding. We just got a bar, and that's, like, it. But we'll just follow back, guys, you know, no matter how many go down. Okay, well, they're not that optimistic in Britannia, but... Oh, this town has too many men. I believe I'll migrate somewhere else. This place is a sausage fest. I was about to go there. <laughs> hey, maybe we come just, wash your face. Just come, come wash your face. Come wash your face. I want to thank you for getting rid of the dog with a menace. In fact, I want to give it, you a big smooth mm, kiss. Wait, is that a? You're not a woman. I can't kiss you. How about a handshake? I wonder if you have a female at the start of the party. If he's actually like hey, that's you know, a, me, a little frisky. And, you know, we got the sauciest female in the game. Kiss. Hey, you're not a woman. Oh! Spoilers! Oh, snap. <laughs> Spoilers? I think it's just not really tracking that your party leader is. Let's see, didn't we have somebody whose special power was, um... Penetrating small to holes? Climb up and down cliffs. Didn't quick get stuck in a? Uh, oh, I thought well he was stuck day. in a well before. So I was gonna send. That's him down why. Now. That's why he won't go in them again. <laughs> God, God speed, Avatar. Fight hard, but be very careful also. Sally forth, Avatar. Yes, with only men, it's rather disorganized. No one here knows <laughs> how to do any laundry because <laughs> women know how to do laundry and men don't. It's sexist, you see. You're certainly welcome to use my house before moving on. And if you don't want to, well, that's tough. These days, it's tough staying alive in the world. Be careful out there. And at one point, I knew the next lyric only because I had memorized the first few lines for the <laughs> Tecmo Seed of the Stars LP. So they have a couple a town shops. called Bee Gees. For the shot of what I'll see is a filled with hidden caves and treasure. Hmm, hidden caves, you say? And treasure. Welcome to the equipment shop. What do you buy? What do you buy? Seriously, you know any shops tell a fucking thing that we can use? <laughs> damn, damn it. No wonder they got so many, like, things you can just sink money into for cosmetic change. There's nothing useful in the game to buy. Well, they, they really should have put some more overlap into what characters used. Yeah. Because the stuff the shop sells, like, oh, here's stuff for four different characters. Although there's a flare... What? Flare knife is not an actual knife. I think it's like a usable item. It might be a it's, it's, a knife, it's a flare that's just shaped like a knife, so they think you're going to stab them, then you break the tip off and flare comes out. Fire it's, damage. It's a knife that's been equipped by brick flare. Thanks to you, this village has recovered from the disaster avatar. The disaster of having once had estrogen. There's literally one woman, and she's going to leave the town. Oh, was that even a woman? I thought the joke was that they were all men. I thought there was one woman there that was like, oh, hey, hey, and when we warple, our boat, boat comes with us. with us. It's a warple boat. warp matic warps the dice. Warp a six, and you warp twice. Okay, so this is not too bad. We... We just gotta stick to the shallows, but we were told that there's awesome loots and treasures to be found. 
So can we go into the bridge? But is that hidden in the deep sea or the regular? Oh, you see, you just got off in the middle of the bridge. That makes a lot of sense. You can totally just... A bridge that's made to go over top of boats, you can just climb onto it. Well, you gotta be careful getting off on the bridge, because if the cops spot you, you'll get arrested for indecent exposure. Oh, it did some kind of special attack, which I frame skipped through, so... I don't know what that was. It was probably powerful weak. Okay. I feel like they, I feel like, <laughs> like you can't get off uh, you can't get off your boat onto a mountain, so we'll just put rocks here so that we don't have to program the ability to climb mountains. Hey, hey it's a sheep lady. Our, yeah, we can visit with our sheep friends. Again, I thought I guess it is a lady. I thought it was a little boy. Maybe we'll meet again. Yeah, probably. So I think I know where we are, but just for the hell of it, let's call out our friend who can help us in a situation like this. Teaser. Oh. Wait. Oh, did you hear? <laughs> yeah, I knew it wasn't Geezer, folks. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you want to hear a pun? I've been a joke for nigh on 35 years. That little old joke meister me, yep, a roaming these sasami-soaked lands. You can call me Sasami, or you can call me Sasami. I've picked up material from far and wide from folks here about me yonder. Have you had enough of my punishment? No? Well, how about this one? I visited a store that claimed to sell camouflage shirts, but... He couldn't see him. I never saw any! <laughs> yeah, does that... <laughs> does your tummy hurt from me howling so loudly? Oh yeah, wanna hear another one? I think we'll do that for now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a million of them. Well, <laughs> my well never runs dry. Call me for a laugh. <laughs> I, I'm a sucker for jokes about camouflage shirts, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's this uh, little flyer that ends up in a bunch of the local restaurants and fast food joints and stuff around here called the Coffee Times. It's really a one, like, it's supposed to be like an advertisement thing, right? I and I love it. And it has this one section called the lighter side, and it's just all the worst jokes and or lighthearted observations on life ever. Mm -hmm. And the one from today that was actually kind of okay was, it was good, but then they explained the joke in the joke, which ruined no. the joke. Don't but it guy. starts like, I went to the bookstore, and I asked her. Sorry. And I asked the lady where I could find the self-help section, and she wouldn't tell me. Which is okay, but then it goes on to say, she said that it would be, uh, it would be counterintuitive to the situation, or something dumb like that. Like, they, like, over-explain the joke afterwards, and you're like, uh, everyone got this joke, you didn't need to have a line about her explaining the joke to you, when she you know, wouldn't tell you where it was. It's not very charitable of me, but I've always had this sense that if everybody gets it, it couldn't have been really funny. Like, you know, mm. unless somebody out there doesn't get it, it's just not really that good. Yeah. Oh, that's right, we have the stealing powers that we're not using recently. Oh, didn't it turn out these guys are, like, totally immune to water? Which would make sense, yeah, they're crabs. <laughs> 50 <laughs> pearls. Oh, that's right, we've stolen from them before. Oh, oh nice. man, that's pretty... That's a pretty good claw. He used his Petro attack, which beast our I, luck. I mean, I'd vote for it. <laughs> Have you been in this place before? Yes. Okay. Oh, it was the alternate exit from yeah. It was it was where we came out of. Uh, Dogglers. Dogglers. Yeah. All right. So we're probably not really going to the right place here. Um, if we can use Warple from the boat. Well, where do you I think want if we warp to, the, to and where do you want to probably warp? the probably the last town we were in, uh, not the last town we were in, but the last plot town. I guess. Uh, Warple wants to Warple to, to Prickly and see if we can just follow the whole coastline of areas we've never been before. But we're trying to get to the center of this area, right? 
west side. I thought so. I still, there's there's a town after west side we've been to. Yeah, but I'm trying to we're trying to get to the other side of this bridge and uh maybe the I don't think we can get to the other side of the bridge yet. I think there's a small town that's on its way to that bridge. Oh, these this old man. I forgot about him. I had an explode ball. Ghost face killer arose level. I don't know, do we feel like building something new in this area? Or maybe checking to see if that... Oh yeah, we should head into the... Welcome to my town. Welcome to my town. Play that music too loud. Maybe we could finally get a freaking, uh... <laughs> just like, we just built like six bars. We're like, welcome to, Los <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Las Vegas. <laughs> Bring it on down to Lushville. Well, we came in here before. Maybe we can pay off that guy's debts now. Avatar, someone is coming around at night and eating the trash after a while back. Poor beggar, he must be really down in his luck. Welcome to the Black Polar Bear Snack Shack. I can't serve miners, but make yourself at home and try some of our fabulous cuisine. Better exhausted. Come on inside and take a load off. Uh, who are you, people? Somebody here was like, I hear the King Vodka of Colburn likes his liquor. Wow, must be nice. However, King, I drank all the best vintages. And I think we already tried switching to her, and she didn't say anything to that, so. Yeah. 20,000. Oh, right, right. Do we want to just pay this off now? I don't really know what we get for it. Yeah. Or if we want to. That's, maybe that's how the plot advances with the, uh, get the other character, because there's somebody back begging. And the key is free now. Oh yes, I'll return the collateral. An old staff. Oh, well, you so get we his basically paid twenty thousand gold for an old staff. Well, luck, uh, Avatar. I got the fancy staff. I got the fancy staff. As again, friend, has a chance to be the great wizard McGee. Sweet cheeks, McGee. I'm wondering if anything mm. different happens if we actually had McGee in the party, or if that's worth pursuing. So, do you remember who it was we were supposed to find there? It was, I thought, the last of the... Well, no, we've got... There were three shell monsters. Uh, uh, who were also it says, Guardians it, it, of the Shells. And we got one of them, the little Babu, who we kicked out of the yeah, party. Yeah, because I remember... I remember we read this before now. It says, after that, bring Babu to the town, and Poyon will be standing in the corner. Oh, He Babu. was digging in the garbage. We brought Babu... Well, I'll, I tell thought. You what, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will load this slot, we will refuse to pay the debt, and we will go back to... We'll go back and we'll bring McGee and Babu in the party so we can see if McGee has dialogue and if Babu being around means we find this other guy. Yeah. Or if... This doesn't work. I was trying to make a bare necessities joke because we were getting Babu. Oh. But I didn't, I didn't lay it up right. So just the punchline! Oh, do we have enough stamps to get a prize now? We might... Yeah, no I wonder if it's at 7 or if it's at 9? Oh, it's at 10. Well, I don't think I'll go to your world, man. I don't know, please keep on clicking on this. Alright, so we'll kick out Ghostface Killer, although he's at a lower level than... Fire and Garo are actually the ones that we'd want to remove temporarily. Mm. We can bring in uh, Sweet Cheeks McGee and Babu. Babu. Um, so where the hell was that? I went to, to West Side. No, it was um, my town. No, that you need to west get to. side because oh, it's my town because we built the bar ourselves. I get, yeah, I, I didn't realize you could warp straight to my town because we went to west side and just wandered. Oh, into and you my walked town because it was like right there. I wonder if anyone other than him can use that staff. So it did no good whatsoever to bring McGee along. Maybe maybe if he'd been at the front of the party it would have mattered, but I doubt it. Whoa. Oh man, look at that! He's suddenly powerful! Maybe we want to actually keep Sweet Cheeks McGee around. 
Uh, you know, I've been wondering if maybe we should just change up our party members for funsies. So he's supposed to be in the corner when you come back to town. We might need to talk to that girl again that talks about the trash. But he's supposed to be trash. in the corner. Is that him in the corner? Is that him, Is that in, him spotlight? in the spotlight? <laughs> maybe you have to actually just look at the... Um, I guess I can't ping the screen. There's like some boxes around the back that are the garbage boxes. Or maybe they're flower boxes, but maybe you can check behind the bar. Yeah, see, he's told it's, he's told it's not here. So let's make sure it's not here. Well, that being the case, do we really want to... Do we want to switch party members for a while, or do we want to just load state and... I think we're fine switching for a bit because okay. uh, you might as well get to, if we're going to end up changing back to Babu eventually it's good to get him leveled up I guess yeah. but we should make sure that we uh, set everybody fairly to different because we're not there's, there's, I guess if we wanted to let everybody have a little chance to shine not going to be Babu or uh, Sweet Cheeks McGee's chance Mm -hmm. uh, regardless, I don't know where the boat ends up when we warple here, so... So, if you warple back to Sandora, there should be a pretty quick way to oh, Ogu, Ogu Village. He's awesome looking. He's a, he's a mighty wizard once again now that he has his staff. His attack animation now that he's bio butte. See, let ask your doctor. Doctor. Okay, so we're gonna warp all our way back to you. Uh, we're gonna warp San where now? Sadora. Oh, there it was right there. Sandora. Hopefully, the boat is just outside. Well, the guy said he was gonna fix the bridge, but I guess that was a lie, so we. So if you head south, there should be a boat. Yep. So somewhere around here is a village called Poju Village. Pogu or Well, Ogu. it's their fault. Let's call a spade a spade. Ah, look at these guys. They have no heart. They're heartless. This is like, uh, suddenly it's become Kingdom Hearts. Oh, no, they... Oh, he's... They asked him out. Next. I guess that means he's been silenced? I can't tell if his hit points are really low because he got damaged, or if he's just at level 10 and everyone else is in at level 30. <laughs> oh man, we got everyone with their right hand up in the air now. Put your hand in the air. So yeah, he's only got 28 hit points. Well, I'll have to keep so an eye on him. Probably not. You'll keep an eye on him? Thanks, your fault. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of where we... So go left now instead of right. Oh. Okay. Is my guess, just because we've been traveling around the world kind of in a circle. See, he can survive one hit. That's pretty pretty badass. He's got only offensive magic, which is kind of a nuisance, because that means Avatar is the only one who can heal anybody. Mm. And he's warpling around like a mad fucker. Now, is this an island we haven't been to before with this cave? I was going to say, I don't think we've actually been in this cave, which is kind of right yeah. Right in your face. Yeah, it's dude. pretty close. It's pretty close, I guess. Oh, and you need help from your friends. All right, we better pull out somebody who can help us in this situation. Not Flappy. Damn it, my joke is ruined. I was gonna pull out the joke guy. I was gonna pull out Geezer, <laughs> but now it's not. Fuck, fuck it. Everyone can see it coming now. Yeah, I suppose you want me to chuck this rock out of the way. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for a small something. There she go. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, feel free to call me whenever you're still involved. Here, <laughs> back to my pokeball. Well, it's like wow, you know, we we still managed to get a bad pun. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time to call this a video. Thanks yes. to the magical timer, so I can actually hit about on the thirty minute mark. But uh, next time we're gonna explore this cave. I know from checking the fact that this game has a lot of little optional dungeons. I have a feeling this might be one of them, but we will find out next time. Maybe. I'm the Mysterious JG. I'm Zerfall. Thank you guys very much for watching Super Shell Monster Story, and we'll hope to join us next time. Bye.